Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Jake, this is JB Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple device to your computer so you can view it on your computer or so you can record your screen. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we're now on the X Mirage website. This is the app I'm going to be using to, uh, uh, what is it, to stream the device to my computer here. It says it's compatible with Mac OS, Sierra, and iOS 10, so it's Mac and Windows. So it'll work with nearly any device unless you're running Linux, which I don't really know why you are, to be honest. But yeah, so I think there might be a free trial. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go to the store and have a look. Actually, I don't know if there is. But th I think this is the best way to do it. Yes, they've given me the software for free, but I still really think this is the best way to do it, as it is just so simple and easy. So now I'm going to show you to do it. So after you've bought it, downloaded and installed it, it's going to go to our desktop and then search for X Mirage. And then it just says you've got to select if you're using a Mac, iPad or iPhone to stream with. So then just now I'm going to go in on my phone, swipe up from the bottom, click AirPlay, and then click X Mirage. And as you can see, it is that simple. Now in my iPhone, so I'll show you, you literally just click here, and it comes up there. So I'm now going to click record. I'm going to now start recording my iPhone. I don't know what this is going to save, but let's do it anyway. So as you can see there, I am now recording my iPhone so I can go through into Gmail. It lags a bit depending on your internet. As you can see, I don't have the best internet, so it's going to lag quite a bit, to be honest but it's still a cool thing to be able to do. So guys, that is basically X Mirage. That's what it allows you to do, what I've just shown you. So if you want to go ahead and buy it, there'll be a link in the video description to where you can go and buy the product. It's a really good product and software to be able to use for conferences or for just general use at home if you're making tutorials on your iPhone. I know I'll use it a lot more now, maybe even more if my internet gets any better than it already is. So if you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you dislike the video and know what to do, dislike the video and tell me why down below in the comment section. My name has been Jake, this has been JP Tech. I'll catch you in my next video. <laughs>